Hi friends, today we're going to read Curious George, The Kite. Are any of you familiar with Curious George? He's a monkey. And you know what he does? He gets into a lot of trouble. I think I've been in some of your classrooms and read you some of the Curious George books. Let's see what kind of trouble our friend George gets into in this book. It was a sunny day in the country. George opened the window to let in fresh, cool air. It was windy. George liked to wind carry things away. It carried leaves away. It carried his cards away. It did not carry his brick away. Oh, so the wind is strong, but not strong enough to carry away a heavy brick. Can you think of something that the wind can carry away? Can you think of something that the wind would not be able to lift up and carry away? I was thinking that the wind could probably carry away a newspaper, but it could not carry away something heavy like a rock or a car. As George looked up, he saw something colorful in the sky. It was a kite. It belonged to Bill, the boy next door. George wanted to fly the kite more than anything in the world. Have any of you ever flown a kite? Flying a kite is not easy, Bill said, but I can teach you. Just then his mom called, Billy, please come and help me. Bill gave George the kite string and said, please watch my kite for me, George. I will be back soon. What do you think will happen to George as he's flying the kite? George wanted to be good, but he was also, we know this, very curious, always wanting to know what would happen. He was curious about flying a kite. So George went into a field. He held the kite up in the wind. It began to fly away. How does George look? He looks so excited. The kite is flying. George chased the kite. He chased it over the hill and past the farm. The stream pulled him along. The wind was too strong. It carried George away with the kite. Can you believe it? The wind was so strong it was able to carry George. George was flying like a bird. It was so much fun. It was fun until George almost crashed into a tree. Ooh, that might be very dangerous. Soon George was happy to see the man with the yellow hat flying nearby. Oh, look at that. I think he's on a hand glider. The man had a yellow hand glider. I was right. He had come to take George and Jumpy home. George was glad to be on the ground again. He gave Bill the, the kite. Thanks, you are a great kite flyer, Bill said. George liked flying, but he liked walking more. Hmm, I can understand why. I'd be kind of frightened if a kite took me up in the air. George still likes windy days. He likes to fly kites. He likes to fly kites that are the right size. Oh, friends, that makes so much sense. The kite picked George up because it was just way too big. Look at this. And right here we have instructions. Take a look on how to build a paper airplane. Can you see that, Mommy? Look at the instructions. I'm going to read them for you and then maybe you can fly, you can make an airplane together with your mom and then you could fly it outside and let me know how it works. So here we go. Number one, fold a piece of paper in half the tall way, then unfold it. Step number two, fold down the top corners as shown in the picture. Do you see that? What does it look like to you? It looks like you've made a little house. Right? Step number three, fold the edges toward the crease you made in the middle. Now take them and fold them towards till these creases in. You see right under the two triangles. Number four, now fold the plane in half and turn it 
to the side. Step number five, make a wing from the front of the plane all the way to the back as shown in the picture. I hope you can see step number five and step number six. You've got yourself a paper airplane. How do you like that? That sounds like a lot of fun. I hope to hear about it. Bye, friends.